of a crime so horrific, veteran law enforcement officers say it shocked even them. A mother charged with murdering her own baby, placing it alive inside a trash compactor before it was later found dead in a landfill. Police held a special news conference tonight, and WDHN's Aaron Dixon has the details all new at 10. A Dothan mother had a baby boy 11 days ago at her home and told people that she dropped it off right here behind me at Southeast Health to be taken care of. But after questions from family members and from hospital staff, that story was allegedly a lie. And now that mother is charged for the death of her child. Family members began to question Dothan mother Ja'Kayla Williams about the story they were told regarding her baby boy. They wanted to visit the child at Southeast Health and make sure the baby was okay. But when they went to the hospital and asked them about the incident, police say they had no record of the baby being dropped off. Instead, police say Williams had the child in the morning at her home, where she then went to an apartment complex on the west side of Dothan and put the baby boy wrapped in a blanket in a trash compactor similar to this one. I've never even heard of something so horrific as this. It's just, it, it shocks the mind, it shocks the soul. Officers say they went to the apartment complex and found the dumpster with a trash compactor attached to it. And after looking through the contents at the Dothan City landfill, they found the remains of the newborn wrapped in a mattress protector inside a zipped up duffel bag. The boy's remains were sent to the Alabama Department of Forensic Sciences in Montgomery to confirm it was the missing baby. She knew, obviously, that she could take a child newborn to the hospital and drop it off. And there's Alabama law that there's no questions asked policy. Williams in the alleged lie said she dropped the child off at the hospital because she didn't want it and that a baby cost too much money to care for. Now Williams is charged with capital murder for the death of her child. And even given the circumstances of uh, this horrible, horrible crime, uh, they did their jobs and they did it well. And that's why we're standing in front of you today. Williams is currently in the Houston County Jail with no bond set in her case, and tomorrow morning she is expected to appear in a Houston County courtroom for her first court appearance. Reporting in Dothan, Aaron Dixon, WDA. Who told police she tossed her child into a dumpster, appeared dazed. During court this morning, Ja'Kayla Williams faces capital murder charges and the prospect of never getting from behind bars. News 4's Ken Curtis with us to explain what happened in the courtroom during the first of what will be many legal hearings. Indeed, Kinsley, there will be many, but the one this morning was nothing more than a formality that took less than five minutes. Ja'Kayla Williams seemed to be in a trance as Houston County Judge Benjamin Lewis spoke to her via Zoom. And I've been advised of based on the type of charge you have. That charge is capital murder, with police claiming she killed her newborn. It was determined that she had had a baby on August 13th. Birthed that little boy at home and then a couple of hours later disposed of the living child. She went to an apartment complex on the west side of Dothan and placed a live newborn in a trash compactor. Police recovered the boy's body on Thursday. They got to prove that you're guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. The burden is on prosecutors, but Williams didn't help her cause when she confessed as police claimed she did. If convicted of capital murder, she would spend the remainder of her life behind bars with the only other option, execution. You're entitled to actually have two lawyers appointed to represent you, and uh, those attorneys are going to be Mr. Clay Wadsworth and Mrs. Amy Cobb. Wadsworth and Cobb so Smith left the courtroom to meet with their client in the Houston County Jail. They've not commented on this case. Smith and Wadsworth, who won a high-profile murder case last year, plan to ask for a bond hearing in hopes of getting Williams out of jail until her trial. Considering the charges severity, Kinsley, it seems unlikely that Judge Lewis would go along with that idea. So, Ken, we spoke last night about whether prosecutors will seek the death penalty. We did, and I reported that uh, District Attorney Russ Goodman had not made a decision. I got to research it and actually recalling a case similar to this one, uh, Tara Gobble, about the same age as Williams, was found guilty of beating her four-month-old to death near Dothan. That happened about 20 years ago, but all these years later, she still sits on death row with no execution date set. 
So, Ken, as for Ja'Kayla Williams, what do we know about her? Well, there's not a lot to know. Nothing in her criminal, ad adult criminal records. We don't see juvenile records, not suggesting anything is there. As far as what I can see, she has not even received a speeding ticket. Seems to have led a normal life until now. Now, there's one other thing here, Kinsley. I found out today after pathologists completed an autopsy on that little infant, the one thrown in the dumpster, his body will be turned over to the family, according to those familiar with the plans. Ken Curtis.